What up YouTube? Moose coming at you once again with another unboxing video. So let's dig in and get started. All right guys, so as you can see, this is the SAN7 and SAN12. It's a two-in-one kit from TACOM. Um, so you have your choice of the missiles that you can build and then the display. There are three types of markings, PE parts are included, as well as a base. So this is a 135th scale, is of course, and it is kit number 2136. So if we flip up on the side, see some the same art. This side you can see the launcher itself as well as the two missiles. Other end is the same thing. And then on the end of the box, they have like the sprue layout and show you a couple other models. All right, so the first sprue that I pulled out of the box at the top is actually sprue D. And as you can see, it's got like the top part of the base as well as the two side supports and the other ends that go on the opposite side of those as well as a couple frames up here and a few little boxes that go somewhere on the model. Um, zoom you in closer for a little bit better of a look. So again, being a TACOM kit, new tooling, very well detailed. Got some slide molding to get additional detail on that. Same over here. Everything looks nice and crisp. So the next sprue we have is sprue C. As we can see, there's the two halves of the actual missile holder, as well as more of the hatches and stuff that go around. Over here on the right hand side, you can see injection molded, or not injection, but slide molded nozzles for the rear ends of those missiles. Um, there's a couple ladders down here. It looks like the end caps of the actual rockets. And then there's various like grab handles and such down here. And then these would be like the main doors that go on the base part of the, uh, or the arms on the end of it. So the next piece, or sprue is sprue B. Here we can see the actual base of the model as well as some various details. Again, it looks like some like grab handles or railings and such. I believe this is part of the actual missile launcher. And then again, some more like axis hatchy type stuff on that one. So nothing really crazy on this sprue. So sprue A contains the two missile halves. As you can see, they are split in half. There's the two different ones there. So you can choose, um, there's the one here with like the short, slightly shorter fins and the one with the longer fins and then each of these map to those. Here you can see some of the handrails that go around the upper edge of the launcher. So not much detail, but it looks pretty sharp what's there. I'll bring you up closer on some of that on the actual missiles. So next up, we'll take a look at the decals. As you can see, it's a real small sheet. There's not many markings that go on this, but everything looks in a real nice high quality for that. The last thing in the box, and it's really hard to see with the glare, is the sheet of photo etch, which includes like um, catwalks and stuff. So it's actually two parts. So the lower piece and then the upper piece fits onto that. And then there's some various PE that goes around the rest of the model. All right, lastly, Last thing we'll look at is the instruction manual. So again, it's the SAN7 and SAN12. It's a two-in-one kit. It's a small format instruction manual. So we open it to the first page and they include a sprue map with everything as usual for TACOM. Then step one, we immediately start in on the assembly for the missile holder, adding some um, hand grabs and a few various pieces. Step two is basically the same thing on the other side. Step three, we fit those three halves together. <coughs> Excuse me. And over here in step four, we fit a, like the guide for the actual missile where it mounts to it, as well as a few end pieces. Step five, kind of building up some of the door hatches for the one end pylon and closing that all in. With some grab iron details. Step six is the same thing, but for the other side. Then here in step seven, we actually start building the handrails. So they're a three part and they call out detail down here on the way they're supposed to sit. So I assume it'll be more obvious once I start building it, but there's like a, 
bend on them. In the second half, we build a few more in. So step eight here, we can see where the photo etch fits in. So it's actually a two part fitting to those plastic frames we built back here. So do that, there's four different style. And then we assemble some handrails here. Flipping the page, step 10, putting those handrails down to those platforms before we put them onto the actual end support beams. Again, with another detail there. Step 11 is the same thing, but the other side. And then finally in step 12, we choose between the two different missile types. You either, they show an option, you pick that one or that one and build it up with a few details that go on it. There's some photo etch that fits to those. I believe you can build both of them if I'm not mistaken. I think there was enough parts. Step 13, we fit a few more final details to the missile holder before we attach the missile to that. And then in step 14, we put those, sandwich it all together with no glue so that it can actually pivot. And finally, in step 15, we build up the base. We put the swivel plate onto the base base with a detail piece before we finally fit the missile to that. As you can see, TACOM includes color for the three variations of the missile you can build. So there's actually the two, just the two types, but of the one, there's two different paint schemes, I believe, is what I read. And then the actual painting of the carrier itself. There's two variations of that. The only difference I notice is this one has like a coppery color ring there. And that is it.